Hi guys, my name is Omri from AI Academy and today I'll be showing you guys how to create your first web app without any knowledge of coding using lovable.dev. And even if you've never built an app before, you can follow along step by step in order to have an app ready by the end of this video. So for today's video, we'll create a party dashboard where your guests can comment their name, take a picture and post it to the dashboard and you can have that party memory forever. So this entire app will be built using AI with a tool called lovable.dev and in order to create a database we'll be using a tool called Supabase. You don't need to know what it means, you can just use it. So before we dive in, if you're interested in AI or building cool projects with AI, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us a lot. And I hope you find this video valuable. Let's get started. So the main tool we're using is lovable.dev and what lovable.dev is, is basically a tool that helps you create apps using no code. So all you have to do is prompt the AI and it will create the app for you, make changes and add different features that you want it to have. So if you want to follow along and build with me during the video, please head down to the description, sign up for Lovable, and let's create our first project. So once you're signed up for Lovable, you'll see this screen right here. This is the main screen on Lovable, and it is the place where you can paste your prompts in order to create the app that you want. But before we type in a prompt, it's best that we go to ChatGPT and ask it for something called a PRD in order to help build our app. So a PRD is a product requirement document, and basically this helps Lovable have better context on what it needs to do in order to create our app in the shortest amount of time possible. So let's head over to ChatGPT and paste this simple prompt in order to have it build out our app. So basically for this part of the prompt, you can change it to be whatever you would like about an app that you want, but make sure you're using Supabase as a backend because it's super simple to use. And you can also sign up for that in our link in the description. Let's send this prompt to ChatGPT and get back a PRD that we can paste into Lovable. Now, the more specific you are with this prompt, the better the outcome from ChatGPT will be. But for the sake of this video, I want to use a very simple one in order to have it get some mistakes so we can teach you guys how to fix the mistakes if it, they do come up for you guys. So now that we have our PRD, let's copy it and paste it into Lovable and see what happens. We've pasted our PRD into Lovable. Let's click send and have it create an app. Now this will take a minute because obviously it's the first prompt you give it. So it has to create everything from scratch. The first prompt will never get it 100% correct the way you want it, but it can get pretty close. So while this is loading, let's talk about Lovable's pricing. They have a free $0 a month trial, so you can use five messages a day. This is good if you're just starting out, if you wanna mess with it, if you don't wanna spend money on it. You won't be able to get a full, full working app with it, but it'll help you understand how the platform works better. Next, we have the Pro, $25 a month for 100 credit. You can get one to two apps that are pretty simple with 100 credits, and then it scales up. The more credits you buy, the more money it costs. And the Teams plan, I don't know anybody who has as this but it costs a little bit more let's get back to our project as you can see it's still thinking because this is the first prompt it will take a little bit but as you can see it is writing a lot of code there we go as you can hear we got our first project so this is the first version it gave us obviously not the best but don't worry we will fix it the next thing we want to do is connect it to Superbase. Superbase is a database service that will help you store everything so like for example let's say people upload pictures to this party dashboard or if they upload their name and comments it will store it accurately in a database. So what we want to do is sign up through Superbase, the, the link in our description. Next, we'll do connect Superbase. Once our project is successfully connected to Superbase, we want to open it up, create a new project. Let's name this project party dashboard, and then we'll create a new project. And once we created a new project, we'll go back to Lovable. And once we're back at Lovable, the new project you created will pop up here, and then you can press connect, and now you are connected. So now Lovable will do some stuff in order to connect you, and you'll be able to have a working database connected to your app. So now once we have a first version of this and we have Supabase connected, now we want to fix everything. Now before we fix stuff, we have to test it. So we'll see what's going on here. Add our name, test, test, start our camera. Okay, so now we know this is not working correctly. Cool, so Lovable tried to fix it. Let's see what happened and it's still not working. So what we want to do is ask more questions. So currently when clicking start camera, what is supposed to happen based on the code? Cool, so now that we have a little bit of a rundown, of what's supposed to happen, we can tell it what's not happening. So here it says that once we click start camera, the button's supposed to disappear and then we'll be able to take a picture, but we don't see that. So we can say once we click start camera, the app asks for permission to use the camera, but after permission is granted, nothing happens. Let's try again, initialize camera and it's not working. So what we ended up doing in order to fix it is I just told Lovable to delete everything that had to do with the camera because something didn't work. And obviously I don't know how to code, so I can't 
can't manually review it and fix it. So I have to create the fixes by just prompting Lovable. So after the error happened, Lovable did its thing and fixed it. Now we can upload the images. So let's publish this real quick. So the publishing it means that you and your friends and anyone else can access it. So you just go publish and update. And now you can click on this link and anyone can have access to it. So I will show you how I access it on my phone and upload a picture. So now that we have the app open on the phone with that link, we'll click post, put our name down, put a thought down or a message. I love AI. And then we'll select an image and then we can either choose a file or take a photo. Let's take a photo, flip the camera and we'll use this photo and we'll just submit the post. And now our photo has been added. Let's refresh and bam, we got it with the name and the message. As you can see, a free refresh, the computer one, it shows up right here and our app is working. And there we go. So now we have a fully published lovable app that you can use with your friends or for any event that you want. So when using AI tools, the key takeaway is just mess around with it, test things out. If it's broken, try to fix it, try different prompts, and it all comes down to trial and error. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. We'll try our best to answer them and help you out. And I hope this video was helpful. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Yeah.